Hello and welcome to my allotment journey. My name is Sarah and I'm so pleased that you clicked on this link to have a little bit of nosy about what I get up to at the allotment. I've had my allotment for two years but I never documented it apart from pictures. I took hundreds and hundreds of pictures but I never videoed it. But I'm two years in now and I want to show you my allotment because I'm going to make some big, big changes and you are going to help me. You're going to advise me because I'm a novice. A novice, novice at best, to be honest. But yes, um, please join me at the allotment. Uh, well, I've actually made a little bit of a start without you. I'm very sorry about that. Um, I've already made my brew. Okay, so I've got carried away doing that. Sorry about that. Um, but also, I got carried away um, and did my fet. You know, I was going to put that. Um, you know, I was going to put this stuff. I was going to put this stuff at the bottom of that fence because it was only a short fence but because it's higher here and lower there I left a big gap to make it look a bit more level well what I did as you can see there is I had one left over I had one of these full ones left over so what I did was I cut it down the middle I just added it to the bottom there added it to the bottom there it's all going to be painted so you won't you won't notice it doesn't matter it's a as I keep saying, it's just an allotment, right? It's not my house. It's okay, so I've made that one a little bit taller there. And then I've just added a little bit here as well, what was left over. So I've used every single last piece of that fence. It also gave it a bit of a strim yesterday. You didn't miss that today, but you missed it yesterday. So I had a little bit of a strim and then um, my batteries run out. But what I'm gonna do next, I think, is just make sure I tie wrap this on properly because as you know, I ran out of tie wraps, but I have got the new tie wraps here now. They came yesterday, so that is a job. And look, it's on here tie wrap arch. So, my list today is weed a bed. Now, that, that doesn't mean a weed the bed, weed a bed, okay. And the bed I'm gonna weed is this one here, which had a bit of everything in it, it had onions in it, it had uh, flowers in it, lavenders. Um, oh god, it, it, loads and loads. Just whenever I had a spare plant or a seed, I popped it in here. Radishes went down there. There was loads of different stuff, so I need to give that a thorough weed, a bit of a dig over, cover it over with the fleece, like I've done there. Um, and then I've got to uncover a bed, so which is that one there. So I'm going to take off the weed membrane, sit that in properly, turn it over. That will probably need compost putting in it can't do that now I've got to wait for um, a lift with the car to get that here as you know we've got a very very steep path here your car can't come up here you have to wait at the gate down there you can bring your car in halfway but we always leave it at the bottom there and then use the trolley that we've got inside to bring it up but yeah that's the plans so first thing let's finish this job off tie wrap this mesh plastic mesh to the pumpkin arch I'm just going to cut the tie wraps off now. Okay, that's better. That's a job done. That's that one finished. I was just worried that it would, you know, get heavy and gape off. Pull, sorry, pull it off the side of here, you know, so I've attached it all over now. So I've been generous, but not over generous. So that's that finished now. We can tick that one off the list because that is actually finally finished. Right, what we're going to do next? Next, oh, it's the boring bit. Next is the weeding. I've got to weed this bed. I've really got to get cracking on with some actual gardening. Right, I think I've actually got some onions in here. Spring, these were spring onions, I think. I don't know what to do with them. Should I just go round them? This I'm going to have sweet corn in here. I grew sweet corn in a small bed like that last year, and it was really good. So I thought I'd be clever and grow it in a big one this year. So I don't know, but there's like one, two, three of these spring onions. Oh, they've been there all year since last year, so I think I'll just take them out. Shall I just take them out? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I'll just take them out. Yeah.
wonder if I could divide that up. Or the, do you think they're edible? <laughs> what do you think? That was from one spring spring uh, onion last year. I'm going to leave them to one side. I might Google it later. Oh, they smell as well. Smell oniony. Right, let's get rid of that weed off it though. We don't want that weed. Right, so there was that one there. And I think another one left here. There we go. Rescued. That's got two on it, so I just lifted it up to sniff it. <laughs> Make sure it isn't an onion and nothing else. And, like I'm not saving weeds or something. Right, let's see if we can get this one up. Oh, this one's got a few on it. Oh, I wonder if I plant them separate, I don't know. Right, I'll have to Google that. I'll Google that in a bit. Right, for now, I'll just stick them there. I probably just killed them. But I'd have to weed it, so come on, let's get this. Let's get this bed clear. Let's get the hoe on it. I think it's just a little bit too much to just start pulling at it. I might as well hoe it first and then pick up all the debris. I did start a little bit yesterday as I went past. But right, come on, let's do it properly. Right, I didn't have so many weeds last year, so... I didn't have to do this. <laughs> didn't have to do all this hoeing, I just pulled them out. So, I'll just do a third at a time, because I'll get bored. I'll get bored doing the same thing. So, I presume what you're gonna, what I need to do now is everything that I've just dislodged. Now I'll just pull out all the bits of greenery and plant and stuff, I presume. Try and shake off a bit of the soil, that's got tons of soil on. I know, I know we need the soil, can't give the soil away. And all this. Can go on the compost. So I'm going to be here all day. There's so much. I shouldn't have left it to go so bad. But it's been so wet. Honestly, it's been. Oh, it's been so, so wet. Honestly, I've had terrible weather. So I just couldn't get here. So just things just went from bad to worse, really. <laughs> But yeah, so I think, what do you reckon? They'll just sort of go around picking the bits out and then give it a good turnover. Anything else that's left will, will just get buried. What do you reckon? we we'll just give it a good go though, the big weeds. The things with big leaves on. Right, okay. First little bit done. Not perfect, but <clears throat> I pulled out all the big leafy stuff. There's like mossy stuff there. I tried to get as much of that off as I could. That wasn't as important of whatever this stuff is here lots of this stuff I don't know what it is but all that stuff I sort of pulled out as best I could and then I turned it over gave it a rake whatnot so I've been to do another third here and then that one then it's done it doesn't seem quite so bad then so up this task that I've put off for I think that's a fuchsia I'm gonna go around that fuchsia or try and replant it I'm gonna try and replant it actually shall I shall... I'm gonna replant it in up there somewhere I think Maybe along there somewhere, I think. Yeah, that's a fuchsia. I'm going to keep that. Oh, there's another onion. There's another onion, right? I need to need to rescue or or kill for certain. That onion. Spring onion. Right, is this stuff here? What's this? I don't know. I'm getting rid of it anyway, whatever it is. It's definitely not wanted. Right. Oh, there's a few growing from that one thing there. Okay, well, you know, they might have... I'll try them in the corner of that one, which is strawberries actually, because there's nothing grows next to the... Uh... This is what happens, you see, you start one thing and you start figuring out other jobs to do as well. So this one, I only have, I did have carrots there, but they were too close together. I did thin them out and they were just like gnarly things. So at the moment, this is just holding me sticks. It's not important. I can put the onions there actually, sort of spread them out on there. What do you think? Do it doesn't matter. You probably say, oh, you can't put onions with strawberries and, uh, and rhubarb. I, I, don't, I don't eat them, so I don't know. I don't know if you can grow these things together. probably just killed it <laughs> but you know what nothing ventured nothing gained I'm gonna stick it in the flower bed there
there you go. Putting that in that hole. That in the hole, I'm just hoping for the best. Just put the soil around it. I think it has actually started to grow. Oh, not to worry. With a bit of luck, it will, it will survive. Done. Oh my word, this is so boring, isn't it, weeding? Weeding is so boring, but absolutely necessary. Oh, you just can't not, not do it, can you? So, yeah, this is me doing gardening bits, not making stuff, not building fences, not, you know, all them sorts of bits and pieces that I seem to do first before I do any real gardening. I'm all right once I've planted stuff. You know, if I see weeds, I'll, I'll nip them out, I'll get rid of them. But it's just, honestly, the weather's been so atrocious. I've not been able to properly get here for a long time. You know, it's, it's having your day off, isn't it, at the right time as well. It can be glorious sunshine while you're working. And then when you get here, it's absolutely pouring it down. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This is the second worst bed. Although, actually, I think it's actually the other one was a bit easier. The first one I did, was it last week? The one I did last week. There we go. Let's get rid of that. I want that looks horrible. I don't know what that is. This moss stuff, I'm not, I'm not so bothered about that because that's sort of all over the place. It's like a spirally moss. It's just these big leaved things, these things. Right, nearly done. Look, I didn't show you that second third that I've done and dug over. There you go, nearly done. Ooh, look, I've had a piece of pottery. It's a bit like my, uh, I've got another channel. I don't just do allotments. I do woodlarking and hand woodlarking. I used to, not so much now, but I used to go looking for bits of pottery. And there you go, I found a piece. Oh, it's like going back to my roots, but look at that, what's that? Is that supposed to be there? Oh, shoot, I don't know. That doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. The worm does, I know worms are supposed to be there. But what is that? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna wing it. Don't know what it is. You'll tell me what it is, though. I'm sure. But yeah, nice piece of blue and white pottery. Allotment treasure. Okay, it's not the best, but it's better. And I think if we can aim for being better and not necessarily the best, then we've cracked it, haven't we? So now I'm just gonna cut that and place it over this. Oh, little pesky, little pesky thing there, right in the middle, staring at me. Right, so I am just gonna cut that put it on and get some logs to weigh it down a bit and that's the bed done I can tick that off my list and uh, it's not very often I can get to tick things on my list <laughs> so yeah that's what I'm going to do put the fleece on now to try and warm that bed up ready for direct planting in April Get rid of that one weed a bed we've done that one not weed a bed but weed a bed okay tie wrap arch done that one okay right under uncover new bed ah right the new bed in the corner first of all it's brew time i want a hot chocolate now remember I thought the birds weren't feeding on this feeder look they are it took, it's taken two days for them to start mine no two three days probably but yeah maybe they just didn't know what it was <laughs> I don't know but for two or three days that went nowhere it was completely full and I did ask the question um you know have I put it in the wrong place or something what's wrong with it but forget that because look they are they are eating it I need to put some more up there they're absolutely ravaged everything that's up there but yeah there you go panic over the birds know how to use a bird feeder I'll tell you what i'll just finish this one little job actually i'd started the trimming yesterday but i ran out of battery because it was quite long and i just need to do this little bit here just this little path bit here so i'm going to do that
Okay, final job is to, oops, sorry, a bit of a jump down there, is to um, cut away the weed membrane, sit this in and dig it over. Sandy. It's mainly sandy because um, I took the top 12 inches off that and put it over there to level it off because although it's on a bit of a slope now it was on even more of a slope so that's sandy so it's going to have to have um, some of that compost stuff that I had, I can't remember what it's called now, conditioner or I don't know. It puts good stuff into the soil anyway, makes it nice so I'm going to have to get another bag of that but I will turn this over ready for uh, a bag of that stuff to go on it. go that was it soil improver okay so I'm gonna get another bag of that soil improver you've got quite a lot in that and I'm gonna stick it in there so I'm gonna say that that is stick that one in out the last thing I want is to, to weed to weed another bed I'm gonna get that out and um, right I'll stick that on um but yeah that's it <laughs> we've done all the jobs on the list that makes such a great change doesn't it to do all the jobs on the list right okay so thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed why not please do it now it's absolutely free it costs you absolutely nothing but it means so much to me okay so you know what i'm going to do now i'm going to sit back relax i'm going to just finish that off <laughs> sit back relax and uh, just take it in because it's absolutely beautiful here although it's a little bit overcast today it's still a beautiful sight um to behold and just listen to the birds so thank you so much for watching i'll catch you next time bye